Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another video blog. You know how much I love to talk about self-management, energy management especially, because energy is the fuel of performance. Energy is the fuel of productivity, creativity. We need to constantly um, adopt habits that are helping us to generate energy all day long. Because the truth is, when you are an energized person, you're just a happier person. So last week I talked about the relationship between energy and dark emotions. So if you missed the video, go back, click the link and watch the video because there's great information there. So today I want to talk about energy and the relationship between growth and protection. And what I mean by that here is that, first of all, this concept um, I learned years ago when I was studying uh, the relationship between our mind, our beliefs, or thoughts in the body. How could our thoughts or our emotional state affect our well-being and either create diseases or create healing? So I got very intrigued. I done extensive studies on that topic, and it's a it's this theme of growth and protection is still very active as I coach my clients because living in a, protect, in a protection state basically means uh, protecting yourself from pain, from suffering, from, um, from disappointments, from dark emotions. And as I, I spoke last week, <clears throat> anytime you suppress any emotion like anger, like fear, or uh, frustration, sadness, that all those emotions take a tremendous amount of energy. So the thing here about protection, anytime you are protecting yourself from pain, you using up your energy. So we have to ask ourselves with energy, right? So if we have this amount of energy or life force every day that we are given and that we have the gift to continue to expand, how do we want to use the energy? We want to use our energy to protect ourselves from pain or we want to be in a state of growth, which gives us a lot of pleasure. But the tricky thing is, anytime you spend energy protecting yourself from pain, protect yourself from getting hurt, protect yourself from failure, you using up all the energy that you could be using for growth and therefore creating this self-sustaining um, state which is a constantly um, state of vitality, joy, fulfillment, success, um, health, healing, happiness. When you are experiencing these emotions here, they kind of self-generate energy, so you, you don't even need to think about anymore. You constantly be generating energy. So I call this side here, which is under growth, life sustaining. And this other side here, I call life draining, because in a state of protection, you're depleting your energy sources and therefore become more prone for diseases, depression, anxiety, low energy, and therefore, really decrease your levels of productivity, creativity, performance, and with all that, um, your happiness tends to tank as well, because if we're not being creative, if we're not being <clears throat> productive, if we're not engaging um, with full levels of energy, we, um, we take our happiness levels down with that as well, because we are wired to engage, we are wired to be creative beings. So. It's proved by science that we cannot live in a state of protection and growth at the exact same time. Bruce Lipton proved that doing studies on a, in, in the cells under his microscope. He found that the cells could not grow when they are in a state of protection. So we have to really watch how we're feeling, um, what kind of thoughts we have, and make sure we not having the thoughts of protection. And I give a clear example here. It's like when I have clients sometimes that come to me and say, I, I cannot meet somebody. I cannot find a boyfriend. I really want to be with somebody. And then as I start digging a little deep on their self-limiting beliefs of what, what is making them 
not to be an attractor to a romance or to a lover. I start digging a little deep and I find the beliefs of I'm afraid of getting hurt, I'm afraid of pain. So they put in, they put in energy and their energy, it's not a conscious energy, it's not like they wake up and say, hey, I'm going to spend energy here really <clears throat> protecting myself. The energy is really kind of quiet. It's happening in a more subconscious level. That's why sometimes it's tricky to address yourself and you need the help of a coach um, because I'm a great energy detective. I can always find the self-limiting beliefs or even the daily habits that might be um, depleting um, my client's energy. So by finding those self-limiting beliefs, I'm able to help my clients shift those beliefs, shift those thoughts, and go from a place of protection to a place of growth. So I invite you here to just to ask yourself, is there anything that you've been avoiding? Anything that you know you need to do for your growth, but you're avoiding because you want to protect yourself from pain, you want to protect yourself from be vulnerable. You want to protect yourself from failure, disappointment. So, <clears throat> if you excuse me, if you find yourself in any protective mechanism, I invite you to shift your beliefs and move towards the state of growth. Because it's in the state of growth that you're going to experience this life-sustaining emotions here, and therefore create a much healthier body, a body that can heal much faster. In case you you have a cold or even in more and more serious uh, illnesses, people have been able to heal themselves when they start managing their energy, not just managing their energy, but they manage in their thoughts, they manage their beliefs, and therefore managing their emotions, and our emotions carry a tremendous amount of energy. So that's my message for today. So I'm going to just finish with the top three things that will help you to address this. Number one, always awareness. Just be aware of your feelings, your emotions, and ask yourself, is anything that you want to do and you're holding yourself back from doing? Number two, what is one bold move that you can do today or something bold that you can do every single day that is going to take you from a state of protection to a state of growth? What is it that you're afraid of doing or getting hurt that you know at the end of the day is going to help you progress? And number three, keep a journal. Journal every single day. By journaling, you're going to be aware if you are fluctuating towards the state of protection. Because like I said, a lot of times it's very quiet. It's, it's subconscious. You're not doing on purpose. It's not like you're doing from an intellectual level, which is, you know, the level I'm speaking to you right now is intellectual because I'm fully conscious. But we know well that 95% of our... Um, of our habits, of our thoughts, of our patterns are coming from our subconscious mind. That's why um, sometimes with the help of a coach, you can find those limiting beliefs, get away from the state of protection, and be constantly in state of growth. Thank you so much. I would love your questions, your engagement, and if you like this video, share with your family and friends. Thank you so much.